Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you want a free Salesforce certification that proves you can build and manage AI agents on the Salesforce platform, this might be the most underrated exam right now. Today, we are breaking down the Salesforce Certified Agent 4 Specialist Certification. I will walk you through what the exam is about, why it matters, what you need to know before registering. So let's understand what is Agent Force. Agent Force is Salesforce AI Agent framework. It lets company create intelligent agents that can automate tasks, answer questions, pull data, and interact with customers and internal teams. This certification is meant for people who work with Salesforce and want to go deeper into AI driven automation. If you're already familiar with prompts, workflows or Salesforce configuration, this fits right in. The Salesforce Specialist Certification validates your ability to build and customize AI agents, create effective prompts, integrate data from right sources, and manage the entire life cycle of an agent. It means for people who manage or optimize agent force inside their organization, there is no prerequisite so anyone can attempt it if you have your business email. To move forward, you must have to register to Trailhead Academy. To register with Trailhead Academy, you must have your business email with you. Otherwise, you cannot log in or register. Once you registered, I will be sharing you the link in the description box. You can click on register. If you choose online, you can appear for the examination on the online. If you choose test center, so you can appear for the examination offline at any of the Pearson test center. So I will be choosing online to demonstrate you. So I confirm my legal name. I will click on schedule now. I have been landing Pearson view website. I have to click next. I will choose English. And you have to accept all their policies from Salesforce and Pearson view. You can read all these things at your own so that you can understand what you are agreeing to them. And they are mentioning that before test day, you should have a computer with Windows 10 or above, Mac OS 13 or above, and virtual machine or beta version are not allowed. You should have a webcam, microphone, and the speaker. And it says that. Do not use any phone, tablet, or wearable devices such as headphone, earbuds, and watches during your examination. One display screen only. That means you cannot connect any secondary monitor or anything. Touch screens are not permitted. That means if your laptop is touch screen, so you are not allowed. A consistent 6 Mbps up down internet speed. And it is also mentioning that do not use any corporate network to test and VPNs are not allowed. And you should be able to close all the Runnish application except the OnView. OnView is the exam tool where Pearson helps you to run the examination. So at that time, please note that. And my suggestion would be like work with your personal laptop would be best so that you can have no other uh, like disturbance during your examination. And do not use any remote software or anything. Please like disable all those things between the examination time. And also they are mentioning that you should be like remain alone and quiet and comfortable. So you can read all those things and you should have this like valid document and etc. And other things are there mentioned. I will go and agree all those things. I will choose English again. And that's right. My time here you can choose the dates. Please note, while you are choosing your date, you choose this 12 hour. It would be best why I'm saying when you click on this explore more option, you will get different different times. You see, this is morning time. This is 5 a.m. in the morning. So people get confused. So instead choose 5 p.m. in the evening, whatever your suitable time, please choose the time accordingly to your convenience. Please also check whether it is AM or PM. So that would be best for you. Okay. And choose the date that is convenient to you. 
then book this appointment and that would be best to go ahead i hope this video helps you to understand how to schedule the exam what this exam is all about and how you should be registered for the examination if you found this video useful please click on the like button if you have any queries comments comment box is always open for you please comment down i will be replying your every comment and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i generally come up with free certification alerts free courses alerts and free educational resources that's it for today's video see you on the next video thank you so much